Staying Up Late with Orion. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory, and we're here to help you find your way around the sky. Winter is still a few weeks away, but that doesn't mean you can't see the stars and constellations of winter a little early. That's right, Dean. You just have to stay up a little later at night to see them rise above the eastern horizon. And there's one constellation that's Mr. Winter, the guy with the belt of three stars, one of the easiest star patterns to identify in the sky. We're talking Orion the Hunter. There's just something about the arrangement of his stars that make you imagine a giant hunter standing in the sky with his arm raised up, not to mention three stars that make his snazzy belt. Orion is usually best seen in January and February, but if you stay up past your bedtime this month, you can get a preview. Let's show you. Okay, we have our skies set for any night in later November at 7 p.m. facing east. Do you see Orion up there? Not yet, but I do see signs in the sky that he will soon be making an appearance. You see that little group of stars about one third of the way up in the sky? Yeah, they look like a really small dipper, a dinky dipper. Yes, they're actually the Seven Sisters, the open cluster of stars that were said to be Orion's loves. There's one slight problem. The sisters didn't like him at all. Ouch. And that means that just below the Seven Sisters is Taurus the Bull. You can recognize him by his orange bullseye star Aldebaran and the stars around it making a small V-shaped pattern. His long horns point down and to the left. When you see Taurus coming up, that means Orion isn't far behind. Let's advance our time about half an hour at a time. Slowly but surely, new stars rise up in the east, and by 9 or 9.30 p.m., Orion will have completely cleared the trees, and he'll be appearing to lean on one side. However, just look for his belt of three stars, and you know you found him. Cool. But I thought you said we'd have to stay up late. 9.30 p.m. isn't too bad. True, but to see Orion at his best, when he's highest in the sky, well, we'll have to face south after midnight. Oh, goody. Okay, we're facing south and it's now 1.30 a.m. Is that late enough for you, Dean? Oh, now this is my time of night. You can now find Orion about halfway up in the sky, seeming to lord over all creation. His belt is stylishly slanted a bit, but it's unmistakable in the night sky. Orion's brightest stars are Rigel, that marks his left leg, and Beetlejuice, that stands in for his, uh, you know, uh... You can say it. His armpit. <laughs> yes, I know that may be gross, but that's what Beetlejuice means. Armpit of the central one. And it definitely fits the picture. Orion's other shoulder is a beautiful blue star called Bellatrix. And his right leg can be made with a dimmer star called Safe. But don't forget about his head. The dim star Misa up there marks that. Hey, are you calling Orion dim? I would never do such a thing. But his head star sure is. One final thing to look for with Orion is the sword hanging from his belt. There are three stars there that are much fainter than his belt, but sometimes you can see them. The middle star in the sword is no star at all. It's actually the Orion Nebula, a great cloud of cosmic dust that is making new stars. It's basically a huge star factory. Through a telescope, you can see its cloudy nature and even some of the stars the nebula manufactured. So tonight, try to view one of the easiest star patterns, Orion the Hunter. By 9 or 9.30 p.m., he will have completely cleared the horizon. But if you want to see him at his best, stay up past midnight and look for him standing up higher in the southern sky like this. You can get a preview of the winter sky even in November if you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.